Does your spouse keep the house really, 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 really cold all the time? Because my husband does. He runs hot and I run cold. So everything feels really, really cold. So I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Maniology for sending me my newest sweater that will keep me warm in my office because literally the AC just kicked on and it's right there and it gets so freaking cold in here. So let me show you what the swag looks like. It says addicted to cats and nail polishes and I love this sweater so freaking much. It's actually a hoodie. It comes with a hood. It's so warm. It's so cute. Anyway, so I got it in white so that in case they shed, you won't be able to see it because if you look at my pants right now, there's cat hair and my hair all over it. But getting into today's video, Maniology sent me their new soft gel tips. So they sent them in short almond and short coffin. And don't worry, I'm going to flip the camera down so you guys can see it in a moment. But they have new soft gel tips and they come in 15 sizes. Wow, that's a good size range. Wow, that's impressive. And 300 pieces. And they're pre-buffed, so you know they're already matte, so you don't have to buff them yourself. And they have tons of new plates over on their website. When they asked me which one I wanted, I asked for the M368 because I felt like it would be a very, very good memorial plate. I know Memorial Day is coming up at the end of this month, which is great for those who celebrate Memorial Day and want a manicure to really reflect that. But this plate is also very versatile because it's a memorial plate for people and pets. You may notice there's some rainbow bridges here and there's wreaths. You can do anything in any color. So it's very, very versatile. And um, the soft gel tips I'm going to be using today are the coffin shaped ones. They come in these little strips right here. Just pull them out of the packaging and they easily come off of the tabs. I do have my nails glued on right now, so I can't properly size them the way I normally would for press on nails. So I'm going to try my best. I'm going to go just like a size smaller than what I'm measuring here. So I'm measuring and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go size smaller because when I take off my press on nails, it's gonna be smaller, if that makes any sense at all. Anyways, I'm just basically measuring my best guess because I've done enough press ons to think I kinda got this down. So now I'm taking the soft gel tips and I'm applying them to my nail tip stand. Since I have nails on already and they're glued on, I can't glue these tips onto my nails until I take the other ones off, so. And jumping straight into what I'm trying to do, I really like these poppies here. I'm going to make them red poppies. Um, there's different poppies all over the plate and other things. So I'm going to do red poppies for Memorial Day, if you don't know. Memorial Day is a day of remembrance for service members who have died on active duty. The colors I'm going to be using today are from this vinyl record gel palette from Model Ones. It's a, um, what's this called? More like a pudding gel. It's like not like a gel polish, if that makes any sense. And I'm using their gel polish brush for this. I did run it through some gel base to make it very, very malleable and easy to pick up this gel. Life pro tip, do not use a dry brush. I've done that before, it comes out awful. So I picked up the red gel polish and I'm gonna do co two coats of each of the gel polishes here today on each of the nails. So I'm doing two coats of the red on three of the nails and I will be doing a nude nail polish or gel polish as well. I do find this gel polish to be really, really good coverage. I'm very, very impressed and I love how evenly it coats the nails. So this is the nude that I'm going for and I will be doing my stamping designs over top of this nude and you'll see that very shortly. All right, jumping straight into stamping action, I'm going to be using this green called Lucky Green from Maniology. It's when their branding was B and C Bundle Monster. And I'm gonna coat basically most of the image. And then I'm gonna use my scraper card to scrape at a 45 degree angle. And my stamping stamper, like my clear jelly stamper, and I'm gonna roll it on the design and it picks it up, ta-da. So I am going to be doing reverse stamping with this dotting tool and a red stamping polish called a Cherry Bomb. I really, really like this red, it's incredible. And 
all of Maniology's stamping polishes are very like highly pigmented, a very decent dry time. Like they don't dry too fast and they don't dry too slow. I've had great experiences with their stamping polishes and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm using my dotting tool to basically glide on the stamping polish into the lines where I want to paint the poppies red. And my tip for this to make it work is to make sure you're constantly dabbing back into the polish. Like do a couple dabs on the stamper and then dab back into the polish because you don't want to start dabbing with a dry or drying dotting tool or even nail art brush. If you do that, it starts to pick up the design that you have on the stamper and it will ruin it. So if you have to add more polish to your plate and more polish to your dotting tool, do it. You can see I'm going back into that red polish over and over and over again and it's worth it. I know there's still lots of polish left on my dotting tool when I'm going back into the polish that's on my plate, but this is the best way to not destroy the design you have on here. So I'm gonna let that dry, but while that's drying, I have to add some like green to the leaves. So I'm using a darker, different green than what I used. Or is this the same green? I can't remember, I will find out for you, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm just basically making the leaves green everywhere and I forgot a poppy right here and I'm gonna let this dry. But while that's drying, I totally forgot to put sticky base coat on my nails, which is fine because you wanna let the sticky base coat dry a little bit, it dries tacky. And you wanna let the um, reverse stamping completely dry, like 100% dry, you don't want it wet. So when the stamping, reverse stamping is 100% dry, you want to stamp that over the tacky surface of the sticky base. You don't want the sticky base to be wet, wet, you want it to just be like slightly tacky and it transfers beautifully. I really love the sticky base, I need to get another one because I am running kind of low. And I'm gonna take the leftover that was on this stamper that didn't transfer on the other nail and just stamp it here at the bottom, kind of like at the free edge of this nail. Now I wanna take this little never forgotten thing and I'm gonna do it in two parts. So I'm gonna make the hearts red and I'm gonna make the writing for never forgotten black, which is why I'm doing it like this. And I need to take my roller right here, remove the parts I don't want on my nail and just stamp the hearts, ta-da. Now I'm gonna do the writing in black, like I said, and pick that up. And if anything got picked up on the stamper that shouldn't be there, I just remove that with my lint roller. And now I'm gonna place this slightly below the hearts so it kind of matches up to the way it was designed on the stamping plate. And just like that, we have a great memorial day style manicure. If you celebrate Memorial Day, I highly recommend picking up this stamping plate if you're stamping savvy, even if you're not, just know that like these things take practice, practice on swatch sticks, hell, buy the soft gel tips and practice on those. Anyways, this is how the mani turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much Maniologies for sending all these products for me to try and review and post about. I really, really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.